Good day everyone. Welcome to SQC Tutorials. I am engineer Omen Formula by name. I'll be taking you on MTH125. So let's quickly move on to MTH125. MTH125 is basically the introduction to differential equation. And differential equation is a very broad part of mathematics that the applications are also broad. You can use them in physics too. Your first damp oscillation is an application of your differential equations, which you did in your first semester on your level. So differential equations are equations that have a differential coefficient, as the name implies. Any equation that have a differential coefficient is known as a differential equation. Suppose we have 3x plus 3y equals to 4. This equation is just a linear equation. There's no differential coefficient. What I mean by differential coefficient is your dy over dx, your d square y over dx square, your d cube y over d x cube and so on these are all differential coefficients so once you can't find any of this in any equation it is no no it is not a differential equation but if i differentiate this equation i'll have 3 dx plus 3 dy equals to zero such that if i divide through by dx i'll have 3 plus 3 dy over dx is equal to zero so because I have a differential coefficient, either like this or in this form, in this equation, I will say this is a differential equation, and this is also a differential equation, although in different form. But because there is a differential coefficient here, this becomes a differential equation. So once you can find any differential coefficient in any equation, it becomes a different. Even if it's just dy over dx equals to zero, so long you can find a differential coefficient there, it is a differential equation. Now, there are basically two types of differential equation. There are basically two types, only two types of differential equations. We have the ordinary differential equation and we have the partial differential equation. These are the two types of differential equation. But in the course of studying MTH 1 to 5, we'll only talk about the ordinary differential equations. Now, once you hear ordinary differential equation, two things must come into your mind. You must consider the number of independent variables and the number of dependent variables. You know, when you have a function y equals to f of x, your y depends on the value of x. So this x is the independent variable, while your y is the dependent variable. So any differential equation that you have just your differential coefficient and only x and y, it could be p and k, it could be m and n, but we have just one dependent variable and just one independent variable is what we call an ordinary differential equation. But once you have two independent variable or three independent variable with just one dependent variable, you call that a partial differential equation. Now, if you have dy over dx is equals to 3x plus 2y, and here you have the u over dx equals to d u over dy for example for example now this part has just x and y the differential coefficient your x and your y now because you do not have any other variable here this is an ordinary differential equation and because you have a, 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 um, two two um two independent variable and one dependent variable, this becomes a partial differential equation. Now, in this, in our next video, we'll talk about other forms of ordinary differential equation. We have the linear differential equation, the non-linear differential equation, and we'll talk about the order of a differential equation before we start talking about how to obtain a differential equation. So that'll be all for this video. See you in our next video, but please do not forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and share. Thanks for watching.